Owen Murray is autistic and his 18-month-old brother Ty may or may not have the disease. Their mother says she's been worried about Ty ever since she was pregnant. Having Owen, who is 16 now with autism, I knew that my uh, chance of having another child with autism was far greater. There's no way to predict the disabling disease, but in a landmark study involving thousands of autistic children, scientists have found promising genetic clues. They've discovered that a gene called CDH10 plays a critical role in brain development, and a variation of that gene is highly common in autistic children. It's been described in this work is the overabundance of one of those forms amongst children with autism. Researchers from across the country, like those here at UCLA, also found autistic children had missing or duplicated DNA strands along crucial genetic pathways. Autism is a complex brain disorder that hits in early childhood. It affects four times as many boys than girls, and it's become 10 times more common in the last decade. The new genetic discoveries could open the door to predicting or preventing the disabling disease. This work represents the starting point of hundreds of follow-up studies. Encouraging news for the Murrays who think genetics and the environment cause autism. Put your hands up. They're hoping this discovery and others will save future generations from autism. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Los Angeles.